Hey everybody, welcome back to my world, or no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I would like to say a huge thank you to Mattel and Monster High for sending me a surprise. Uh, it's a box! <laughs> it's a really cool... It's a PR package, as, as the kids are calling it nowadays, uh, to celebrate the upcoming release of the Monster High live-action movie musical on Nickelodeon, which is coming out on October 6th on Nickelodeon and Paramount+, Plus, which I'll be watching it on Paramount+, Plus because I love Paramount+. Plus. Anyway, uh, so this is really cute. It's a, it's a box that kind of looks like a locker. It's got like a little locker over here. It's got the spooky, spooky, spooky school, which I love. Like seeing the school set at at uh, at VidCon was just so cool, so so cool. So I'm I'm sorry. I'm moving stuff around here on my. I'm like doing this kind of like at the last minute kind of thing. I also would like to say a huge thank you to my mom, who is not going to see this video, but I want to say a huge thank you to her anyway for her always supporting me in my uh my whole life actually uh she is is the reason that i was allowed to be you know like a little bit of a creepy goth kid uh, when i was younger and to try to find my way and you know she let me wear black nail polish when i was in grammar school and let me tell you in the 70s <laughs> the black nail polish in the catholic school i was a little bit of an issue <laughs> For some of the nuns but my mom was divorced I did come from a broken home so of course they expected me to be a deviant yes that's how I grew up as a deviant because my mom was divorced and remarried we have come such a long way and actually over on my other channel where we just get better together uh, I, I have a whole video of, that's coming it's probably going to come up, be posted after this one, because I want to get this one up first. Um, anyway, uh, that, that's about the whole, you know, what Monster High means and community and how much it's changed and all that kind of cool stuff. So uh, let's see what's inside the box. Now, I am very, very excited. Oh, oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to be bouncing all over the place in this video, and I'm not giving it to Elvira to edit because she's got something to do tonight. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's really cool. And I am not there because I am over here on the East Coast and she's over there on the West Coast with Claudina. So, you know, but something might happen in New York, maybe. And if it does happen in New York, I will try to go to it as long as my mom is OK. So anyway, so I was talking about my mom, but we'll get back to that. All right, let's open this box. OK, so here we go. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> this is hard to do. When you, when, you, when you film like this. Oh, everything's going to fall out. Okay. So, here we go. Ugh. Hashtag, so professional. So, it's got, like, images from the movie here. And then there's a letter. And then a bunch of black paper shreds. This is what I've been waiting for. Yeah. Oh, I love that song so much. And I'm not even kidding. Not, this isn't like a like a YouTuber influencer, like, ah, I love that song so much. It's such a jam. No, I mean, <laughs> I really do. That and the Messing with the Three of Us song. And I just, I'm really excited for the music in this movie because it's actually good. Trust me, as a parent who has watched many a movie, Camp Rock, and been like, oh, dear God. Dear God. Um, but I'm really excited about this music. So that's cool. Uh, and <laughs> it comes with a letter. And dear Melissa, that's me. Monster High. <gasps> it's from Headmistress Bloodgood. Headmistress Bloodgood wrote me a letter. I am just childlike enough to love that. It is with great pleasure that I inform you of your acceptance into Monster High. Sweetie, I was accepted in 2010. You have been given this opportunity in recognition of your exemplary true monster heart. Thank you for noticing. Monster High is home to all monsters who tap into the unique magic and channel a wicked sense of humor. Punster High! Please find welcome gifts from myself and your fellow monster classmates inside your locker. <gasps> it's my Monster High locker. To complete your enrollment and familiarize yourself with the campus, watch, here, promo, 
watch Monster High the movie on Nickelodeon October 6th at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. I always love how they always give us like the Eastern and Central and then it's like, you know what, Mountain and West Coast people, figure it out for yourselves. <laughs> you ever wonder about that? Just saying. And streaming on Paramount Plus, which is how I'll be watching it. And you know what makes me crazy? Everybody says Paramount. It's Paramount. It's Paramount. Okay. Congratulations on your achievement. I look forward to welcoming you to Monster High. Sincerely, Mistress Bloodgood. I wish it said Headmistress Bloodgood, but because Headless Headmistress Bloodgood. Anyway, that's really cool. I actually got an acceptance letter to high school because I went to a, an all-girls Catholic high school. So let's see what's in here aside from more kitty litter. Okay. I, and it's got this sensor and I was trying to figure out how because it's like motion activated I think so last night Caden and I were going through the box and I was like I opened it and it made the noise for me so then I'm like is it light activated I'm like opening and closing the box it was really funny um anyway okay let's see what we got Ooh. oh okay Caden looked at the stuff and said I was going to be really excited and he said there's notebooks I thought he meant notebook, but there's more than one. Look at this. I'm just excited to be here. I'm just psyched to be here. Ooh, ooh, that's totally me. Oh, look at this. Look at this, like, creepy. Oh, it kind of reminds me of the Haunted Mansion a little bit. Oh, I love that. And it's red. My favorite color. Oh. Oh. Do you guys know that I have kind of a journal? Let's just call it what it is. It's a journal fetish. But this is, like, a little a little binder. It's a little three ring binder. I love it. Caden was right. Caden knew I would be excited. Okay, what else? Uh, everyone says witchcraft's a filthy human habit, but I love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> so this is Draculaura's notebook. Oh, it's another journal. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, yes. I am, I, I, I am like, an avid journaler, but I also collect journals. There's tons of blank journals in the house and I will still buy more journals. It's a thing. It's a problem. Uh, oh, okay. Spooktastic as always. So we got some pencils, more pencils. Uh, another spooktastic as always. Like I can give these out to my friends. Um, oh, a ruler. This is so back to school. Oh, this ruler's cool. Is this the kind of rulers you youngins have now? Um, there's an untrue monster heart among us. A human! Uh-oh. Yeah, because that's part of the plot. Okay, so this is... Oh, okay. Oh, pencil sharpener! Cool. It says, so many new kids, so many unfortunate fashion choices. Still Cleo. Stay, stay you, girl. Stay you. Okay. Another spooktastic. Uh, what is this? There's something fluffy in here. Ooh, pencil case. What does it say? I've been living my whole life in hiding. Maybe I'll have more luck in the monster world. Oh, very Claudine Wolf. It's reading kind of blue on my camera, but it's a purple. It's a purple puffy palm. Oh, I like this. This is good for makeup brushes. All right, what else is in here? Um, oh, this is Deuce, I'm saying. Try wearing a beanie 24 seven. It doesn't exactly encourage monsters to take you seriously. I really like that we're gonna explore what Deuce's experience of life is. And it's kind of a, it's a mirror compact. Oh, this is actually, stick that in my purse. Nah, I never check my makeup after I leave the house. What else we got? Oh, I don't know what this goes on. It goes on something. Oh, here it is. Um, I'm all charged up. Okay, there was something in here that goes with Frankie, or maybe not. It's just a little plastic, little plastic thingy. It says I'm all charged up, so that's Frankie. What else? Mm. Oh, I see what it was. Coming out of the dark. Love it. Okay. So it was a. Oh, I love these. It's it's a it's a paper clip holder, and they're little. Uh, lightning bolt paper clips. That's what was in there. More pencils. John Wick would love this box. There is a book uh, I saw at the Big Giant Barnes and Noble in uh, on uh, in Union Union Square, and it's uh, called uh, "They Shouldn't Have Shot His Dog," and it's a book about the making of the John Wick movies. I got a feeling this year is gonna be hot. I'm assuming that's Heath. 
And the only person I don't see represented in here is Laguna. <laughs> so uh, yeah, everybody uh, who got this mailer got a doll. Thank you again to Monster High for sending me this, this really cool box of goodies and this doll for free. This is so, so cool. I am so excited about this. Um, I am going to do, <clears throat> you're like, wait, you're not gonna open the doll? Okay, so here's the thing. We're gonna take a quick look at the doll in the box, but here's my situation. So you know my mom's really sick, right? She's, we had to move her into long-term care. It's a whole thing. I was sick for, well, my stomach, something really not good was going on. Um, so I haven't seen my mom in two days. And uh, that's why I remember I said something about my mom at the beginning of this video. Uh, so I uh, want to go spend the day with my mom. And I was talking to her on the phone this morning, seeing what she needed before I go over. I always bring her an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, medium, iced coffee, cream, two splendas, um, and an old fashioned donut. And uh, I said, I was like, I, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna come. I said, you know, I just really, I got this box from Monster High and I really wanna do something with it real quick. And she's like, oh no, no, you have to do that. No, do that, I can wait. <laughs> My mom has been so supportive, like going to LA to do the Monster High um, thing where they, they taught us a whole bunch of stuff about, you know, so we can share it with you guys about like why the dolls are the way they are. Um, I wasn't going to go because my mom has, you know, been sick and I was really worried about leaving her and she was really pretty stable. She's been knock wood, pretty stable. And, and she talked me into going. And, and because it, it just, it, I was crying. I was like sobbing on her as she was talking about how much Monster High has meant to me both as a person and as a mother and how much it means to Caden and our whole family and how much it means to my mom. And, and it was like this whole thing of me just like crying and my mom telling me to go because, because you know, this is what I've been waiting for. So uh, anyway, let's take a quick look at Miss Laguna in box. Now here's what I'm gonna say to you. Laguna Blue is pink. And <laughs> it was really, really, it was a thing for me. And you know, part of the challenge of doing something like a revival it's not a reboot, it's a revival kind of, um, or reimagining, I guess, is that the creators have a huge job ahead of them, but on the other side, as people who are fans of the original, you can get really nitpicky. Like, so I'm a huge Star Trek fan, and I have come to love Zachary Quinto playing Spock. But when I went to see the 2009 Star Trek movie, the, you know, the, and it, it's, it's like, it's a new universe. The thing that I was so ticked about the whole movie was that Zachary Quinto's voice is much higher in register than Leonard Nimoy's. Yes, that is something that annoyed me. So annoying. Also that he was, you know, having a relationship with Ahura. I was like, what the F, you know? And, and, and so it's hard because you're like still in a, a similar universe, but the things are changed. And sometimes it's hard to adapt to that. And humans, although we are actually extremely adaptable little primates, struggle a lot with making those changes. We're like change averse, super adaptable primates with no tails. It's very weird. So, um, the reason she's pink is because, uh, aesthetically speaking, kids wanted a pink doll. They didn't want uh, a gray doll, so Gulia is not gray. Um, it, these are the colors. These, these, these are the colors. These are the colors that kids liked for the characters. And so that's why Laguna's pink. Now, in original images of Laguna, I was not, I was like, mm, because I was so stuck on the old Laguna, Laguna Blue. Like, she's blue! Her name is Laguna Blue! But, <laughs> but I'm okay now. <laughs> because I'm really liking colorful Laguna. 
you know, she's from, uh, she's from the waters of, where she's from, like, it's off Honduras, um, you know, she's still got Neptuna, but Neptuna is also different now. It's a little bit more chibi looking, a little it's pink. But um, I like her. I like colorful Laguna. I, I, I can I can get on board with this version of Laguna. I can. And also, they're just like, well, I will do a real doll review. But like, her little um, goldfish here, they're little piranhas. I mean, there's so many cute things in the, in the little you know, piece of the doll. But notice, like, look, does this bathing suit look familiar? Just, just turn these into big plastic, uh, fin, like, not fins, but like, sh they were like, you remember swim class Laguna? Mm-hmm. Which she got, like, the monster wedgie. Old time, old time fans of the show, well, of this channel, will remember. Um, so, uh, let me see. Wait, what did I want to tell you? So, October 6th, uh, we're all going to watch this movie. I am probably going to be um, live Instagramming it as I watch it. Uh, and I'll let you guys know what time I'm going to watch it. Cause it's going to be on Paramount, so I don't think it's going to be like at a specific time. And, and, and like 6 o'clock Eastern, right? Is it 6 o'clock Eastern? Yeah, it's 6 Eastern. No, it's 7 Eastern, 6 Central. See, I can't even... And, and everybody else, you're screwed. Uh, you just have to do math. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it at that time. I, oh, I dropped the pencil sharpener. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to share all of my stuff as I'm watching it. Thank you again to Mattel and Monster High for sending me these journals for free. <laughs> oh yeah. And the doll and all the other goodies. Um, thank you so much. I am super, super excited about this movie and the message of the movie. I will let you all know when, uh, the video on my other channel goes up talking about, you know, community and, and a lot of things about this, this, this reimagining of Monster High. And, uh, I promise I will be doing a full unboxing and review of Laguna and the rest of the G3 crew when I get my hands on them. Uh, very, very soon. And now I'm going to go bring my mom an iced coffee. I will see you guys again real soon. Love you so much. And thank you for watching. Bye.